Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Baldur's Gate 3. I am the Curious Owlbear and if you're new to the channel, I normally produce random encounters and characters for you to use in your home games for Dungeons and Dragons. I have been anticipating this game heavily as it is a beautiful adaptation of Dungeons and Dragons. I hope to play through uh, what we have available to us in early access. I have been messing around with the game somewhat so far and I hope to add a little bit of my own commentary uh, which I am doing in voiceover. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to add a little bit from the Dungeon Master perspective but here we go into the game. Alright, from that first cinematic, we already have a lot to unpack there. We are captors of the Mind Flayers, which are a supremely evil race of beings known to put tadpoles in the brains of their victims. They are opposed by many mortals and deities alike as they completely dominate everything that they touch. Now, as I mentioned, I have been messing around with this game, and I have selected to go with a Tiefling Warlock for this playthrough. Tieflings have three options for their patron deities, or in this case, devils. Asmodeus being the Supreme Lord of the Nine, with all of the other Lords of the Nine serving under him, is the first option. Mephistopheles, the Lord of the Eighth Lair, and biggest... A rival to Asmodeus is the other option, and probably what we'll be going with. Zariel is the current Lord of Vernus, where the eternal blood war rages between devils and demons. More on that later, but Zariel's not what we're looking for. We'll be going with Mephistopheles. And here are the classes available. We will be going with the Warlock. Uh, we have two options here between the Fiend and the Great Old One. I prefer the spells offered by the Great Old One, but feel free to check into this yourself during your playthrough. Here are all the spells that I'm mousing over, just like I did with the background, so you can pause the video and learn more about each of the spells if you wish. We'll be going with Eldritch Blast and Friends for our cantrips. And for our first level spells, we will be using Dissonant Whispers and Tasha's Hideous Laughter. So Eldritch Blast is really our bread, bread and butter spell. We'll be using that in most situations. Uh, Dissonant Whispers is also a very good uh, first level spell option for damage. And Tasha's Hideous Laughter is a great crowd control ability. Here are the skills. 
which are influenced not only by your uh, ability score modifiers, but also by proficiency. Now, proficiency essentially means that you've spent sufficient time with a skill in order for it to become, for you to be better than the average individual. So we changed intimidation to investigation, investigation being very useful for finding secrets and things of that nature. Now over to abilities, we are in a standard point by system here. Uh, as you can see, if I take points out of dexterity uh, and try to put them into constitution, one point of constitution is actually a little bit more, cost more points than two points into dexterity. So the standard array that they give us is good enough for me. Now I have no idea what this really affects in the story, so we are going to be going with another tiefling, uh, Mephistopheles tiefling in fact, and we'll venture forth.
Obviously, we are captives aboard a Mind Flare vessel, which was traveling across the plains and attacking Baldur's Gate, abducting individuals off the street there. But then they were attacked by the Githyanki, the green-skinned dragon riders that you saw in that cinematic, who are native to the Astral Sea, which is kind of the stuff between the different planes of existence in Dungeons & Dragons. Now you can kind of just think of dungeon, uh, planes of existence as different worlds where different creatures inhabit and uh, serve different gods. For example, the plane of fire is different from the nine hells where it seems like we currently are. We got a good glimpse of the river Styx, which similar to Greek mythology is where mortal souls wash up to be claimed for the afterlife. Um, and now with a mind flare tadpole in our brain, we must find a way to escape this vessel. And hopefully, Avernus, the first layer of hell. So we run through the ship and we loot what corpses we can, finding a few spell scrolls and healing potions that will come in useful later. And we come to our first conversation. talking to a man or a brain a newborn born new from this husk you realize you're talking to an intellect devourer a minion of the mind flayers who abducted so we succeeded our arcana check and we figured out it's a intellect devourer let's destroy this evil creature it's also a very dangerous creature if we allow it to survive. These are kind of the, the foot soldier minions of the Mind Flayers. Let's check out this chest for some more loot. And let's head back down. Probably out this giant fiery exit. Here we see again the river Styx and one of those dragon riders being uh, harassed by these tiny little devilish imps. We jump over the gap and make our way towards the front of the ship. Here. It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our Gaith captors. Onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. That sounds good to me. 
and we are going to go ahead and go into our first combat here. It seems like we might want to hide as a bonus action from these creatures. As we march forward, we can see where they can see. Hopefully we can get a surprise round here. Eldritch Blast. It lands. Excellent. We'll skip the tutorial and we'll fire a second one. With our surprise round, we get a free set of actions against the creature, and then we happen to roll higher than them in initiative. Uh, here we're going to get the warrior as quick, as close as we can, and fire a ranged attack. Seems like the best option. Imps do a little bit of damage here. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good shot. Alright, let's move around for another Eldritch Blast. If you're not familiar to Dungeons & Dragons, you get an action, a bonus action, and movement on each of your turns. And sometimes it's useful to use a reaction on one of your opponent's turns. Uh, currently, I don't believe we have any reactions available to us, but we are going to make use of our action, bonus action, and movement as best we can to attack with Eldritch Blast each round while staying away from the imps and do a mighty longsword swing with our Githyanki fighter instead or with the other actions. Now we can hold our left alt button to see what's lootable around here and we are going to of course loot around as any good adventurer would. Let's make sure we loot all of the imps, all of the Mind Flayer corpses around here. And now we are going to head to the Restoration thingy, which gives us our spell slots back as well as any missing hit points. Now, I like to mention here that I'm relatively new to this whole playthrough experience and uh, definitely not a Twitch streamer. So let me know if you'd like me to talk over these cinematics with, uh, with no subtitles or uh, whether you'd like pure silence to enjoy all of their unfinished beauty. Here we can see that the Dragon Riders are still attacking this ship. They are convinced they want it to go down. And from my perspective, it seems like they must have tracked it somehow to find them as soon as they arrived on the, the material plane there. We are going to continue looting around the thralls and uh, imps on this level of the ship before we move up. Because it seems like the Mind Flayers and Little Intellect of Ours believe that we are still enthralled by them. This scared me a little bit as the character ran to the very edge of the ship in order to loot that corpse, but we made it. And here we'll come up, loot a couple more corpses, and then we are going to head into our second combat. It seems like these imps haven't taken notice of us. And we get to take one out before the combat even starts. Let's get the fighter as close as she can be. And of course that close range attack is pretty difficult. But a second Eldritch Blast and they are gone. Let's loot around. Let's see about this poor fellow. I'm a bit peaked, Mom. I think I'll go to bed early. Mind flares have already enthralled. That's a fair point. Let's grab this battle axe. Could be useful later. Our character will primarily use magic and won't be using things like battle axes, but we have companions to give these types of things to. Here we just need to attack this thing to destroy it. And let's explore the ship. Let's see happens. if we can figure out some more. Aggression. Well, it seems like we figured out most of it. We don't want to release aggression. Time 
for stragglers. Well, let's see if we can figure out what kind of magic is at work here. A good start. Warding rooms. The pod wide open unless they're destroyed. Well, let's try to disrupt them with a touch. That didn't seem good. Are you satisfied? We need to go. The pod's stuck fast. I can't free you. There can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Well, let's keep on exploring. Oh, another intellect devourer. Try not to attack that thing, probably. This says. Perfect. Well, we failed it, but he says perfect. That's not good. Let's check out this corpse. Key. Excellent. The key. A very important key. Let's come out here over to this table. Grab all this loot and open this reliquary with that key. A little bit of gold and a gem never hurt anyone. Let's go ahead and head up to the helm of the ship. for sure, but I definitely recommend that you try to kill all of the imps in this room, as they will all yield the 10 experience points. Also, each of the dead thralls here are uh, carrying some form of loot. So we'll see what we can pick up on our way across the room. Here, I decide to use the dash action as I want to get the fighter as close to melee as possible on this round, so hopefully next round she can get in there. Now, if you haven't uh, played through this yet, you definitely have to make it all the way across the room before that mind flare loses his combat against Commander Zulk, I believe. Um, otherwise, the devils will overrun you, as his attacks are way too powerful to withstand as a level 1 adventurer. Here, we still can't get to melee. Let's just take a range shot. He comes up to attack me in melee, of course. Let's just 
Eldritch Blast him out of here. Make sure we loot everything that we can. turn anyway, so her turn. She has nothing left, I think. Oh wait, she's got an attack. Alrighty. Move as close as we can, and you guessed it, Eldritch Blast. miss there. Let's go in for melee. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And there's no thralls in here. Well, we could try looting the Mind Flayer. He might have something. Nice little three points of damage from the Imp. And this Mind Flayer is doing extremely well in his fight against the Commander. Uh, I would definitely not guarantee that he is going to take as long to kill the Mind Flare as he is currently. This Mind Flare might even win. Wow. Uh, Alright, with that, the last Imp is destroyed. We loot the Mind Flare and we use Second Wind, which is a fighter ability that allows them to heal a little bit of uh, damage with a bonus action. And here we're going to move as close as we can and then use the dash action to make it the last couple of meters to the tentacles. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. Best dragon fire ever. I hope it stays that way always. Seems we are back on the Prime Material Plane, but other creatures are taking notice of the ship. Goblins, as we see here, a tiefling, as we saw before, and a drow. Now, drow and goblins do not normally work together, goblins being more mischievous and less intelligent creatures, and the drow being similar to elves in their longevity and uh, nature. There it goes. Interesting that something caught us before we fell. 
Let's keep that in mind. And here we are, back on the prime material plane. Let's loot these poor fishermen in barrels that have washed ashore. Fishing when these monsters came. Bad luck indeed. If it seems like I am looting very specifically around here, it's because I am. Let me know. Feel free to let me know in the comments if I am missing anything. But some of these intellect of ours and things like that are not carrying any sort of loot. I will let you know right now. Let's see what Shadowheart has to say. Blast it, Dora! Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least, you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Confusion. Resolve. And a hint of gratitude. Uh, did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do. In your head. That mind swap, I experienced it before on the ship. You felt it too? The same. It must be that tadpole they put in our eyes. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. I doubt this is the only entrance. You could look elsewhere. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. It'd be nice to have another hand in the fight. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right. Whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. I'm Mythlos. Let's make haste. Lead the way. And we don't really need these tutorials, but we've grabbed our first companion. And with that, I'm going to save the game here. But let's continue up the path. Oh, and of course there are more. Let's loot all of these unfortunate commoners first. And then we will deal with the intellect of ours. And if we go ahead and hide here with both of our characters. We can either have them travel together, like so, or we can split them up. And different parts of the group can go to different places. So for now, I would like to ungroup Shadowheart and have her wait there. And she doesn't have as quite as long range as I do. Better stay back. So Once we'll take our surprise round, fire two Eldritch Blasts, and deal with that first Intellect Devourer. A good start. Now you may notice that Shadowheart is not yet in the fight. I think I'm still going to wait until I get a little bit closer. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything either here. So we are going to have to wait. There we go, they're getting a little bit closer now. Let's see if we can... That will definitely do. Excellent. Let's get a little further away. If they're gonna hit anyone, I'd prefer they hit Shadowheart. This is a sacred flame there. A cantrip spell. But they passed the saving throw. That's okay. Next up, Mythlos for another Eldritch Blast. Let's move them up here first. And that's the last Intellect Devourer. As you can see, Eldritch Blast is quite good. 
uh, but it can roll as low as one point of damage at this point in the game. Uh, at level two, we will improve that a little bit, but let's just jump up here, make sure that we loot these dead mind flayers and this poor commoner. There's also a chest and Mind Flayer Corpse up here. And here I'm just realizing that I forgot to group up our characters. Let's go ahead and give the Battle X over to Shadowheart before I do that. And... We're gonna need to bring her up a little bit before we can regroup. Sometimes I do that when I'm pressing the left alt key. You'll see that happen on occasion. Now you could destroy this box or you could simply lockpick it as I'm doing here. Um, lockpicking is another of those skills that you can be proficient in. So if you are proficient, that little, uh, the time it takes to lockpick will be shorter. There we are, grouped up again. And here we go to meet another main character in the story. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Kill it yourself, you look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Well, our dexterity is better than our strength. Let's see how it goes. Oof. That hurts. Shh. Not a word. Let's try to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece. Hmm? Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod? Yep, let's nod. Splendid. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacled freaks did to me. You have it backwards. They took me prisoner, just like you. Don't lie to me. I... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory. But it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? Well, we are pretty decent at persuasion. Let's go ahead and say, put the knife away. We can figure this out. Excellent. Not one of them. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Apology accepted. I might have done the same where the roles were reversed. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarion. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Introduce myself? I'm a Baldurian Is that too. so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind turn flayers. Us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. 
And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. So, prowling the streets, pale skin, pointy teeth, red eyes. This dude's a vampire for sure. If you're not, even if you're not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, you should probably figure that out. Uh, let's go ahead and level up here. Um, I'm going to mouse over all of these Eldritch, Eldritch Invocations as I did with the spells so you can take a bigger look, better look at them. But we are going to take the ones that give us charisma to the damage of our Eldritch Blast and the ability to cast Mage Armor pretty much at will. And Mage Armor is very important for any character that doesn't wear armor. Next up is Shadow Heart. Uh, here are all of the cleric options for level 1 spells. We're going to change con Create Water and Command Word Halt to Cure Wounds and Bless. And finally, Asterion. He pretty much only gets the, to use Dash as a bonus action, but that is really good, doubling his movement, essentially, uh, for the cost of a bonus action. I'm going to drop another save here. As I find that the, the early range. access saves are inadequate. So much blood. Come on, take faster. Get her out of there. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. The person they're trying to save, it's the creature from the ship. Still alive, but wounded. Let's try a persuasion. It's clouding your minds. Look at what's in front of you. Woo hoo hoo! Your voice cuts through the fog of confusion. You can see the creature's hold on them wavering. As its influence wanes, they clutch their heads, blinking in confusion. Where... where are we? There was fire in the sky, and and then the voice. Oh, God, the voice! What happened? That monster was using you like a puppet. God, I, I think you're right. It called out from the wreckage. It sounded just like my daughter. But she's been dead for years. That thing got into our heads, drove us mad. We wrecked our boat, just trying to get close to it. What do we do now? Your boat, can it be repaired? Not a chance. It's bloody driftwood. And we're in the middle of nowhere, and even... Oh, wait. You. I can feel you. Just like one of those things. You're one of them! What? I saved you from that thing. There's something in your head. Please, we'll take our chances out here. Just, just leave us be. Well, that is a better conclusion than trying to kill them. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. Made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it. But then, the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Let's take advantage of the lapse and break free. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Rather brutally, too, if I might add. Alright, let's head up here. Make sure we grab the loot from the Mind Flayer. Seems like we want to let the fishermen be. There's goblins. What are goblins doing this close? Once again with 
the force turn action. Alive. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. Well met. You were on the ship as well, I presume? Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. By trauma, I suppose you mean the thing they put in my eyes? Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tadpole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? I'm better than a wizard. I'm a warlock. There's a gust of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. It'll have to wait. The primary need is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? I recall it, yes, vividly. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as seromorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Can't say that I am. Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help, and I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? That sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes, deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see. All right, and with that, we have filled out our first party. Let's go ahead and level Gale the wizard to level two. First of all, let's customize the cantrips. Uh, we are ultimately going to select uh, change grease and Thunder Wave for, or sorry, these are our first level spells as well. Uh, Grease and Thunder Wave for Mage Armor and Feathers Fall. And then we are going to also uh, select the ones that we can from the Evocation School, uh, subclass of Wizard. And we are ultimately going to take Magic Missile and Burning Hands, two very useful spells that will probably come into use later. And with that, we are nearing the end of part one of this walkthrough of Baldur's Gate. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button for part two, as well as my Dungeons & Dragons content. I can promise that the next part will start off with a bang with some combat and the exploration of a short dungeon. So, until next time, stay curious, adventurers.